normally we look at a scene from a, an angle like this, from the top, from the front. That's the perspective view. And usually we would build things on top of this plane, for example, and you probably wonder why I have two so close uh, to each other planes here in the scene. Well, I wanted to show you that um, <clears throat> the world is made of a very large sky and a very large surface. Uh, and uh, the typical view you have is from somewhere down here. So you see the sky and here is the ground. And uh, I made this a little bit more sophisticated, not really sophisticated, but uh, yeah, you will see just in a second. I created a plane here, which I unhide now, which is basically the same as before, but um, uh, it has a hill structure. So that's the way we would see things. That's the sky on top. All of a sudden, the sky does make sense, except for the for this uh, black part here, which is due to that we have only a plane instead of a, a sphere, for example. And uh, in order to give you dimensions, I introduced some houses uh, using mesh, of course. And um, so they're sitting here. So is this your typical angle of view? No, not really. That's a drone view, which is quite unusual for an ordinary uh, role play uh, or an action film. You would typically sit somewhere here and look up at the hill and etc. So you see the black horizon already sort of disappearing here. So that's, that's probably, here's the door and uh, that's your height of where, where your head is and uh, when you walk around like this it takes some time to walk from here to there to there to there so that's basically um, the dimension things and I made a tutorial about dimensions which you might like to watch uh, later on um, anyway this is just to make clear that uh, this is an unusual look this is the more usual look here now let's exchange the top plane, I delete it, with some real clouds. How do we do this? We go from modeling or wherever you are to FX, special effects, because clouds are a vapor and liquid sort of system. That's why we find them under fluids. And uh, we don't have to build the clouds from scratch. We get an example get an example of a fluid and here you have different sections like explosions and fire and liquids like water and clouds and fog and having clouds and fog you can choose any of them basically they all work fine um, how about the cloud and Sun I just drag it into the scene it lands here and the reason why it's called sun is because this is a point light here with a very high intensity simulating the sun. Let's render this. That's supposed to be the sun. And we have something very fluffy here, which all of a sudden looks odd in the viewport. When we render it, you see uh, the houses are all covered by some kind of fog. Well, um, we can delete this uh, sun now because we're going to render it uh, with, a, with an Arnold physical sky. And um, here you find, and that's, that comes with several examples in the Maya content browser world, uh, you have a cloud sun camera. Let's try this. You can middle mouse drag it into the scene and then you look through that camera. So the cloud camera is here. So it's below the surface. That's certainly not what we want, but we can, of course, lower our surface. That's not, not a problem at all. So um, we will lower this thing and the houses will move accordingly. And then the camera looks from the, from the floor to that cloudy thing. Now let's render the clouds. How about this? So now I have clouds in the in the sky 
they partly cover the hills and I have very dark houses right here which already give me quite a nice impression about the dimensions so we need a proper light now I think the, uh, the the fluid produces some light that's why we see something after all but um, we want to introduce an Arnold physical sky here lights physical sky it wraps around the whole scene we don't currently see it because it's in the back it's right here so it's a huge sphere wrapping around the whole scene when we go back to our uh, clouds camera and render it now we get a totally different thing because now a physical sky simulation is wrapping around the whole scene and changes the clouds we can move the camera back that would be a nice position for example and when we render it now we have the clouds pretty low clouds of course we can make the sky higher that's what we're gonna do now that's the clouds here we can move them up we can scale them like this and then we look through our camera again and now the sky gets really nice clouds and since it's a dynamic system you can manipulate lots and lots of parameters you can make uh, very small white clouds or gray clouds you can uh, add another cloud layer on top of that with a different dynamics moving uh, clouds moving much faster etc so that's all here you see you have a density for example you have a temperature which simulates uh, the real cloud system well I hope um, you find this interesting it's about uh, the real sky and the dimensions of our scenes which are not always from the top and from the front bye